This is step 11 in a 24-step video series that shows you how to install the front enclosure on an absolute steel building. First off, there are all kinds of different door sizes in buildings. Please consult your assembly instructions for your particular front enclosure and the various parts used to put together what you ordered. The principles are the same as the building we're working on here, so let's go ahead and see how this one is done. Installing the front base rails. Join the base rail connections along with the various lengths of 2 inch by 2 inch tube together with the L brackets that transition back to 2 inch by 3 inch that are going to be the vertical uprights for your garage door opening. Consult your instruction manual for where you requested your door openings and assemble the base rails as it calls for. Mark the location of where the base rails and the opening should go on your concrete. Now attach your Z-clips to the base rails, then drill and insert your concrete expansion anchors in the concrete, but don't tighten the nuts up all the way just yet. Insert your uprights and attach them at the inside top like you did on the back enclosure. In this building, two of the uprights are going to be made of 2 inch by 3 inch tube. Those are the verticals for your garage door opening, and those will slip into the pins of the L brackets. Attach each end of the front base rail assembly to the side base rail pins with the flat angle brackets just as you did on the back enclosure. Assemble the door header as shown on the illustration and fasten them to the door jams with the flat angle brackets. Set the height of the header to clear the height of the garage door you wanted in your building. In this particular case, we're installing a standard two-car garage door which is 16 foot wide by 7 foot high. So we'll make sure we have 7 feet of clearance. Now install the vertical header brace above the door header as illustrated in your instructions. With this building, we're going right up under the peak and down to the center of the door header. Affix it with two flat angle brackets on each side of the vertical header brace. And one flat bracket on the inside of the peak 